Hey you, watching this video, do you agree with me when I say that Chelsea will beat Arsenal this evening in the Premier League, 5.30 kickoff? What do you think? Do you think I'm just nuts? Do you think I might have a little bit of something about what I'm saying is might be right? Or do you think it's just a crazy, you know, a, a crazy thought or vision ahead of the game kicking off? Now, the reason that I'm saying that is because I've just got this feeling. I don't know why. I had the same feeling when we played Man City in the Champions League final. I've got the same feeling again today. It's by nowhere near the same. The importance of the game obviously is completely different from, from you know, from one end of the scale to the other. Champions League final, Premier League game. We're on three straight wins. The team is beginning to click together. Yes, I know Arsenal are playing well. Had a couple of dodgy results, but they beat Man City. And now they believe that they've turned the corner because last year they couldn't beat Man City and struggled in some of the big, big games. And that's what lost them the title. They're now believing because they've beaten Man City that things have changed and they're going to go up a level. And some of the signings they've made, apart from Kai Havertz, obviously, has enhanced that, the likes of Declan Rice. But I look at the Arsenal squad and I think they're in trouble if they lose Odegaard, if they lose Saliba, if they lose Saka. If those three players are out of that squad for a length of time through injury, they haven't got no one to replace them. And I'm talking like for like. And this is where Chelsea's different. Yes, we've got our injury problems. And yes, we've got players that have been out for a while that are not match fit yet and coming back in. And we all want them back because we all want our first team back playing. But I just think on paper, the two squads are similar. But Chelsea's got much more strength in depth. And the thing is, you might think I'm crazy here. You might think I'm just completely biased and I get all that. But Chelsea, for me, are when it comes to the big, big games, they lift themselves to another level. What we're seeing with Chelsea right now in the last few weeks is people have begun to settle down a little bit and they've sort of just, just eased their way in and are much more comfortable with their surroundings at the football club, on the training pitch and obviously on the pitch with their teammates. I'm talking the likes of Sanchez, he's calmed down. Dizarzi's calmed down for making those mistakes he made early in his Chelsea career. Casido come in and you could see the whole weight of the world was on his shoulders for the massive transfer fee to just deliver straight away. And he struggled. He, he made some mistakes that were punished in game. But the last few games, he's really settled down and we're beginning to see Casido to be something like he was at Brighton, which attracted everyone to him because he you could all see he's just a world-class talent. And I just think that those things are key when it comes to Chelsea's performances, along with the fact that Cole Palmer has come in the door, taken some time, and he's now unplayable, untouchable, unpredictable, whatever you want to call him. This guy, I said it before in one of my videos, he's Cesc Fabregas reincarnated when it comes to creating chances. We've not had that since the magic man and his magic hat left Stamford Bridge or left the football club. But Cole Palmer's taken on that mantle. And the more he plays... The more he plays with his teammates and gets comfortable, the more he's going to open up his skill set and just create and craft numerous chances. He doesn't panic. He's not flustered. And I love that about Cole Palmer. I also think that Raheem Sterling, he's had a couple of dodgy weeks after a good start, we have to be honest. But Sterling playing on his natural left-hand side, where he's always said, I want to play. That's my best position. See what he did against Burnley. The influence that he had against Burnley. He was unplayable that day. And I think that on that right-hand side of Arsenal's defence, you've got Ben White or you've got the other Japanese defender. I can't think what his name is. And I think Sterling will give him a real test today, especially when he keeps coming inside. On the other side, hopefully Mikhailo Mudric or Madueke could come in if Cole Palmer is going to play as a number 10. But I think Palmer will stick on that right-hand side. I think you'll have Sterling on the left-hand side and you'll have Jackson starting because Broz is out because of his little knock he's got on his other knee, not the knee that, that played him through injury for a long time, but the other one, as Pochettino said. And then that midfield three for Chelsea has been really, really important. Casido, Enzo and Conor Gallagher partnership is building. With the, with the absence of Romeo Lavia, those three are really clicking now and it's becoming very, very apparent in the last three weeks. The interplay between them, Casido breaking up play and finding Enzo or Conor Gallagher... Enzo and Gallagher working their asses off as long as well as Casido, I should say. It's really coming together that midfield three, and it's been a vital part of the turnaround in fortunes, along with our defence. And you have to give Cucurella a, a big kudos to him for playing on the right hand side, but Malagusto is now back and in contention to start, having been sent off 
and miss in the last few games. But Cucurella's done well. On the left-hand side, you're going to see Colwell again. Interesting if Saka plays, because Saka's been out injured, as we know. He missed England. Will he play? Will we go one-on-one -on -one with Saka and Colwell? And then you're going to have Dezazi next to Thiago Silva with Benoit Badashili now sort of back, sort of getting his match fitness and getting back into contention. So do we think that Malo Gusto will start in ahead of Cucurella? Or do we think Cucurella is going to keep his place? Could we just see one change from the game that, that the team that started against Burnley with Jackson in for Breuer? Or will you see Gusto in for Cucurella? But for me, I think the team will be Sanchez in goal, Cole on the left, Silva, Dizazi, and Gusto on the right, because Gusto, I think, is better going forward. In the midfield, three unchanged, Casido, Enzo, Conor Gallagher, and then Sterling, Palmer, Jackson as your starting eleven. And that, that excites me because I think we're good. I think, you know, we've got Gusto going forward on the right-hand side. Colwell's more reserved, but we've seen him getting forward at times. And I think we look solid, and I like that. And I think Arsenal, as we all know, the threat they've got going forward, I still think at the back they're a little bit suspect for me. I still think that Gabriel is sort of pretty much, he gets out of jail a lot because he's got Saliba next to him. Saliba's the class act. Gabriel is rash. And I think if we can pinpoint Gabriel and also the goalkeeper, who's not exactly taken to his life at Arsenal easy, made a couple of mistakes, a couple of rickets. And I think if we can test him and try and just keep pounding him early, obviously give him a bit of a roughing up in a corner, things like that, just to try and unsettle him, I think it could do us well in the game. Obviously, their midfield is strong. Declan Rice is there. You've got Odegaard there as well. I mean, you've got Kai Havertz. Is he going to play against us? He'll be dying to get on along with Jorginho. But obviously, as we know, they've all got the threat. Martinelli, will he start against us? He's always played well against us. Will Saka come in? Odegaard in behind Jesus. They're a definite, definite threat, the Arsenal. And I just think if Chelsea can remain compact and solid, our midfield three, I think, will work harder than their midfield three. And I think if we can turn them and get behind their midfield and expose Declan Rice for just being by himself, I think Chelsea can have a good day against the Arsenal going forward. We need Sterling and Palmer to work their magic. Jackson, do what Jackson does. And I think that Chelsea could have a real good result today. And I think everyone's going to write us off. Everyone's probably going to say I'm talking absolute nonsense. But for me, you're a fool to write Chelsea off in the first place. As we've seen with time, as Mikel Arteta said yesterday in his press conference, Chelsea have deserved much more than what we've got points-wise because of the way we've played. He already sees the change in Pochettino in what he's done to this football team and Chelsea will continue to grow. The last three games have been the base we can build on and I think today will be a big, big step in our journey. Chelsea to beat the Arsenal by the odd goal today Anything other than that will just be amazing, outstanding. And I have to apologise, people. There won't be any live match commentary today because I have been sick all week and I'm just doing this stop-start because I just cough and I can't be coughing non-stop doing commentary, which I apologise for. So, Chelsea to beat the Arsenal by the odd goal. What do you guys think? Do you believe what I'm saying? Do you agree with me or not? Do you think the Arsenal were too strong and it's too early for us to to go up against the Arsenal and compete. I think the complete opposite. I think that we're a class act and I think we're getting, we're finding our feet and I think we're a force to be reckoned with and will be for the remainder of the season. Come on, Chelsea, you can do this. Let's hope we get the three points. Let me know what you think about anything that I've said, any ideas you've got about the Chelsea starting eleven, about the Arsenal, about matchups in the game in the comment section below. Let's hope we get the win and big, big three points and make a bit of a statement after all the doom and gloom of the beginning of the season and the, 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 the stupid defeats and all the nonsense that was out there. We've turned the corner and today's another step. See you next time.